some of my best moves were never on tape. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the best moves I ever did, nobody seen besides the people that were there. I look at it like a rapper, you know, like before the album comes, it's the mixtape, everybody creates the buzz. At that time, before I played high school, those were my mixtapes. I was in every gym. Just like, I guess, rappers, they go from different clubs or different parties, they open up for different people. Like, I was at every gym, every court. If there was a hoop, I was there. And then the people just start coming. The time I was in high school, they already knew. At that point, and to be honest with you, the Sonics were here then, and Gary Payton, Sean Kemp was here. At that point, I was probably top five in popularity in the city as a basketball player, and I was 16, and that was including the Sonics, so. My name's starting to grow on my mixtape circuit, right? So then I get invited to play in Doug Christie. I start working out with him, we went to the same high school. My name starts growing. I get invited to work out with him, I start working out with him, doing well. He invites me to play on the summer league team, and his pro-am back then is actually my pro-am now. So he passed it to me, right? So go back though, the first four games, I mean, I had eight points combined. I was nervous. I'm playing against overseas guys, not even eligible yet. Honestly, not even eligible. And then afterwards, Doug rolls his ankle. We're on the same team, he rolls his ankle. So the coach was like, I just want you to go. Don't worry about nothing, just go. From that point on, I averaged 30 points the rest of the way against pros. I made the all-star game, uh, you know, my first year. And actually that shake and bake move everybody talks about, I made it up in the all-star game on fly. I'm coming down, right? Early in the season against one of those guys, I had two points against a strong guy overseas. Guy's name was Brian Parker, locking me up, beating me up. So I make the All-Star game. And as fate would have, it's just me and him. One-on-one -on -one in the fast break, I, I slow down. I'm like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It's just me and him, I don't know, I don't know. I do the move out of instinct. I go lay it up. He goes way over there. I lay it up, here's a wall. I caught myself because I was going so fast. The crowd loses it. I go back later on, I'm like, Mom, because my mom was at the game. I'm like, Mom, what, what moves did I do? What did I do? She's like, I don't know. So I'm like, all right. So I start replaying in my head. I'm like, oh, I can do that. I can do that on demand. I can do that at any, at any moment, right? And what a lot of people don't know is the version the NBA is seeing is the, the, the reduced version. The way I made it up, I do it on command, but I don't want to show it everybody because I was waiting until I made an all-star game. I was going to pull it out. But if that's not happening, it's just like one of those Prince records that's in the vaults. It's not going to ever come out. So <laughs> there it is. 